You know what PS1K07X? I read your comment, you fucking asshole. You don't even want me to make a reply because you know I'm gonna write shit. So I'm gonna tell you because I'm gonna have the last word. You piece of shit. You really pissed me off right now. Well, I never said I can rap as well as Tupac. I never said that. You know, Eminem said, behind the mic, I'm a person who just like you, right? That's what I said, like, if Tupac wouldn't be a great rapper, his personality would be like close to my personality, right? That's what I'm saying. But, I will never be a great rapper because I don't have that talent. Okay? I don't. And I'm already old to be a rapper. I'm too old for that. I'm already 28, Tupac died in 25. So, chances are I probably would never be a rapper. And I know that. My comparison was sort of like this, okay? Let's say we take two people. One person is a great rapper, another person is dishwasher. But they both have a bad temper, right? That's kind of comparison I made with Tupac. Because, see, people, you know, first of all, the famous people that are still people, okay? With their pluses and minuses. The only difference between regular people and great people is that great people have certain talents which regular people do not have. But, it doesn't mean that we cannot compare regular people and great people. Because if you're gonna take the talent out of the equation, if you're gonna, and we're gonna compare the personality, we can say things like, you know, these people have similar personality. Like you watch Tupac interview and you say, oh, you know, Tupac is a hyper. I can say, you know, Emil is a hyper too. Or we can say, you know what, this celebrity is like, or oh, Tupac is taller than the rules. This is kind of comparison I made with Tupac, okay? Personality-wise. That's it. So, and I never was talking about rap, so I don't know where did you take that bullshit from that uh, I ever said that I can rap like Tupac. I never even said that, you fucking idiot. I never even said it. So, that's what you're thinking, but your thinking is wrong. That's all I can tell you, you fucking asshole. That's it. I don't even want to waste time on this motherfucker. I'm really not in a good mood right now. So, I'm kind of tired too. And that's how things get misinterpreted. And there is a lot of cases of that. The famous one about Mahmoud Ahmadinejad who said that Israel is a small creature and he cannot survive. But everybody took it that way. Oh, he said that he wants to wipe the Israel off the map. The same thing. So basically, you cannot say anything without people twisting your words according to their worldview. 
And that's a problem. So, even though I kind of upset about all this bullshit, but I guess I just have to accept the fact that no matter what I say, people gonna interpret my words in a different way. But I'm not, I'm not on, but I'm only responsible for what I say. I'm not responsible for how you understand it. So, if you twist my words, it's not my problem, but reading this shit makes me upset. Dealing with all those motherfuckers who think that they are right and they don't want me to even say anything because they think that the way they understood what I'm saying is the right way. No, you're not. You, it's not the case. It's not the case. You fucking assholes. All the best to you guys. Later.